Andrew, glorious day here at um, Sporting Targets and uh, since I was last here just before Christmas been a lot of changes. Yeah, we've um, spent a lot of money, we've uh, refurbished the clubhouse, redecorated, refloored, um, some new furniture coming in as well, so lots of changes there. Uh, we've done a lot of changes on the ground as well, we've put a whole new claymate system in, so the new Wi-Fi card system, um, so hopefully everything runs smoothly outside with no hiccups from an old system as we had before. We've also put in uh, 20 new chromatic traps all on the plantation. So the whole of the plantation is all brand new, both claymate and traps. Um, we've, had, we've had another 10 traps as well, of shondells and rabbits and um, different types of uh, target throwers uh, for the rest of the ground just to put out and ring the changes. So we've had changes on pretty much every range now. So yeah. And with, with that in mind, you know, you're, you're a big ground, you run some big competitions as well through the year, don't you? We do indeed. Yeah, we've just had the Easter Challenge, which was very successful for us. George Digweed shot an amazing 98, which no one actually saw was possible, but of course he managed to do it. Um, later on in the year, in June, we've got the High Tower Challenge, which runs us through June and July. Um, that's quite a testing competition that uh, a lot of the fit-ass boys like that. Um, and at the same time, in June, um, we've got the Jack Pike. Uh, that's a 120-word competition for us. Um, that the track's normally sort of five, six hundred shooters, so that's quite a busy one. So that's coming up soon. If if somebody's never been to Sporting Targets before, what can they expect to find if they come here? A warm, friendly welcome, nice clubhouse, um, restaurant, bar, so anything they'd need um, to fill themselves up before they shoot. Um, <clears throat> we also have the shop, which has um, qualified instructors in there to give good advice, gun sales, cartridges, clothing, etc. And now on the ground we've got 130 traps um, from anything from a mini through to a rabbit and anything from the ground up to 120 foot from the towers. And in terms of the traps, I mean reliability is really important. And um, what, what were your factors in choosing Promatic? Uh, they're very good as a versatile uh, 12 volt battery trap. Um, so <clears throat> when you're moving stuff about and trying to get different angles, and different lines, excellent. Um, previously we've been on uh, Laporte because they, they were the only ones to supply a true 240 volt, which a lot of our uh, ground traps are, are 240 volts. So that was sort of reliability issues for us. Um, <clears throat> but in the last sort of 10 years, we've moved over to more battery driven traps and Promatic seem to be the ones to go for, for reliability, durability, and um, <clears throat> what you can do with the trap is so, so much more versatile. With with looking to the summer, you know the sun shining today, which is which is great. You're also open late on some evenings as well, aren't you? That's right. On a Wednesday evening, we open till eight o'clock. That's the ground. Um, <clears throat> you can enjoy the clubhouse as long as they like, but the ground finishes at eight, six o'clock every other night, except for Sundays, which is two. Do you think the sport of clay clay shooting now is on the growth? Yes, definitely. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> the last couple of years it started to pick up slow, um, steadily after the recession. Um, but in the last 12 months or more, it really has been pushing through a lot of new shooters. We're, we're seeing a lot of first timers coming in, having lessons, buying guns, getting certificates, obviously, and then, and then moving on from there and going to competition and recreational shooting, really. One of the things that Sporting Targets is really renowned for is its high towers. Can you tell us a little bit more about them? Yeah, we have three. Um, the smallest is 60, then it's 110 and 120. Um, <clears throat> in what we call the quarry, uh, which is where we run most of the high tower challenges from. There's the 60 and the 110, and on there, there is nine traps, so they feed that one area. So you've got various heights throughout that. You've got loopers on the towers, you've got diving targets on the towers. Sometimes we put minis, <coughs> and there's always a midi on there. So there's every variation of tower you could have. The 120 foot um, <coughs> is generally open for practice, on both sides of the ranges from the embankment through to the main range.